pumpkin bao. Yes, please. And these ones are filled with a creamy, chocolatey, oozy filling. The perfect treat for a happy but haunted Halloween. This Walk Wednesday is sponsored by our friends Neff. But hey, we'll talk more about them later because we've got some fun to be had. And that is making these cute little pumpkin bows that I'm gonna show you how to do right now. Welcome back to School Walk, let's get cooking. Bows, they're just essentially a type of steamed bread. And they're actually not as difficult as they may seem to make. You start with getting your dough ready and it's quite simple store cupboard ingredients. I've got some plain flour here. This is actually Chinese plain flour. You can use normal plain flour, no problem at all. And then I've got some yeast, some salt. We've got a good amount of sugar to feed the yeast and then some baking powder to just lift that bow even more. And then I've got some warm water, warm to the touch, a little bit of milk, not 100% necessary, but it's traditional. You could keep it out if you want to keep them vegan. And then a little bit of oil. Once you, you've used sort of three quarters of your liquid, it's worth getting one hand into that dough to feel how much moisture is in there and kind of bring it all together before adding the rest. And what you're looking for is to pick up all that flour around the edges of the bowl. That lovely bright orange colour for your pumpkin bow. We've got some colouring as well, some orange food colouring. This is the perfect thing to get your kids involved with because this looks like brains. You want to knead it to a point where it's nice and smooth. At the moment, it's still a little bit on that sort of sort of coarse, sort of tough side, and you can see. So I'm gonna just need it a little bit more, and we should be able to get it smoother. And I'm actually gonna cook these in Neff steam ovens on a steam function, and that sort of engulfing steam that happens in the oven holds its shape quite nicely, and so I want the outside of the dough to be as smooth as possible. And there we go, we're pretty much there now. Just gonna shape this into a nice round ball. Now, I'll just show you the texture here. If I sort of press into this ball of dough, this smooth ball of dough with my thumbs, like so, you don't want it to crack too soon. So it did crack, but a little bit sort of, nice and slowly. And you know at that point that you've kneaded that well. Take a little bit of oil, rub that oil around the dough. You can cover it with either some cling film or a damp tea towel. And then you wanna keep that in a warm place. The kitchen's actually really warm today, so I could put it anywhere for about an hour and a half. So you wanna let that rest for about an hour and a half, depending, you basically want it to double in size. And I'm gonna fill this with some really simple chocolates to keep it easy, to allow you to get your kids involved. Look at that, that is really grown nicely. Now what you wanna do is just start to shape your pumpkins. And the first thing I do with that is roll out of a log of your dough and then just wrap your palm around and twist generous portions of dough off. Once you divvy them out, then you might have seen this in some of our other bow videos, but it's what we call pinchy, pinchy, twisty, twisty. Push in with your thumb and then pinch and twist that dough back together. And what you're doing here is creating a nice sort of smooth skin around the underside of that bread dough. Once you've got your balls of dough, then you just kind of squish them together. And you could use a rolling pin, but actually these are probably big enough to just stuff straight like this. So you've got your round of dough, and I just use a nice sort of any sort of chocolate truffle will do. And all you have to do to keep it nice and simple, but also sort of show off how versatile bao dough is, is just stuff your chocolate into the middle. Once it's closed and you squeeze that together, you just press that down and turn it around and you've got the start to my little pumpkin bao. 
So to make your Halloween pumpkin shapes, the little paring knife works a treat and you just sort of create a little star over the top of the bow and then slice down those lines. I'd like to go quite, or relatively deep, you don't want to open up the bow too much, but you want to make sure that those lines are accentuated. Now it's time for Neff's moment of glory. because so I'm gonna put this into the steam oven and I've got the oven on at, on a steam function, 100% steam. And what that does is it creates this like, it pumps steam into the oven and it creates this sort of engulfing steam around my bows. They're gonna go in for about eight minutes and they'll rise nicely into their lovely plump pumpkin shapes. It is Halloween, so I'm gonna do a little trick or treat for Arthur, one of our videographers. And in this one, I'm gonna put some pickled mustard greens in. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, I've made you some pumpkin bows. These look great. You gotta pick which one is the trick and which one, or which one's the treat. You uh, choose. Um... Ready? Oh, I'm gonna open mine. Yeah, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I thought that was the. I, the, I thought that because that had like chocolate on the top of it. I know. Why so, haven't you picked the one with chocolate? On it? <laughs> I thought it'd be more funny. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change it, and anyway, don't change that one, Jez. That's the one. Oh, we haven't both duped to it. <laughs> well, enjoy your treat, Arthur. Happy Halloween. Chocolate filled bow. Pumpkin bow. Don't do this at home. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ding! Hit that notification bell. Happy Halloween. We love you all.